This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. If you go to theyoungturks.com slash GoDaddy, you get the best promo codes in the world. There's a congressman in Oregon, his name is David Wu, and um, several newspapers in Oregon are calling for his resignation because he had a little bit of a mental breakdown in the end of his 2010 campaign. All right, so he actually won re-election. He's a co still congressman of Oregon, and he refuses to resign. And I'll tell you what exactly happened. So toward the end of his campaign, seven of his staff members resigned. Okay, they didn't want to work with him anymore. And he did a number of awkward things, but the one thing that he did that has gotten the most attention is he emailed a picture of himself in a tiger costume to all of his staffers. Okay. It's a funny picture, okay? So um, he sent it out, and he admits that it, he admits that it was inappropriate and un unprofessional, but he says that toward the end of his campaign, he was under a lot of stress, he was taking care of his two children, that, you know, he just had a little bit of a breakdown, but he will not specify, you know, what type of breakdown he had. In fact, I'm going to read you his quote. He says, there are personal things even for a congressman. I think it is up appropriate to have some sphere of privacy about the specific diagnosis because I'm not the president of the United States with my finger on the nuclear button or trigger. All right. So if he had got dressed up in that goofy tiger outfit for Halloween, I say, all right, look, you know, the congressman's having some fun. Not a big deal, right? But if he's it's in the middle of a nervous breakdown and he's sending it to wigged out staffers and he's like, hello, look at me in a tiger outfit. <laughs> You're like, okay, that, dude, that's creeping me out, man. That's, that's some serious issues. I think as your congressman, you probably have a right to know a little bit about his mental health. I mean, especially when he's admitting he's got mental health issues. And then his excuses about taking painkillers and somebody gave it to him and did that trigger the breakdown? I, I didn't understand. It was so confusing. He's got so many different weird excuses for it. And look, it's if somebody did something once, seven staffers don't all quit at the same time that's working on your campaign. There must have been a lot of things going on. And the, the tiger outfit was the straw that broke that camel's back. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's some serious issues here. And he's got to be a hell of a, a lot more forthcoming than he has been. Look, I, I'm actually going to be a little more lenient, okay? I think that he w probably was under a lot of stress, okay? He wanted to win re-election. During a campaign, there's a tremendous amount of pressure to go out there and get voters to vote for you again. I, I think that he just got so stressed out that he went through a little breakdown, right? Um, and also, with the seven staffers leaving, we don't know the details of what happened. How come none of those staffers have said anything about what went on behind the scenes? Like, they just all quit. And the worst thing that I've read about, and I've read several art articles about this at this point, all of the articles that I read about basically uh, note this tiger costume thing as the worst thing, okay? He did say that he took painkillers because he was in severe pain. And um, someone that was a campaign contributor gave him the painkillers, and he said that that was a bad decision that he made, and he, he regrets it or whatever. But Nonsense. Ba but, Nonsense. Based on, but based on these things, look, he's been a congressman since 1998. Okay, his constituents say that, they, that he's done a great job, that they really like him, and he got reelected. Okay, so if he's been, you know, working as a congressman for that long and everyone likes him, then I think that we should give him a pass, unless something else emerges that's even more serious. I think the tiger costume, whatever, it, it, it wouldn't bother me. In fact, if you did it, Jake, I'd be completely amused. If it was just a tiger outfit, of course. But listen, you got to understand, in politics, if that stuff came out, it's the tip of the iceberg. It's not, you're going to find out it's much worse than that. Mm -hmm. Nobody just admits to taking two painkillers. You know what, and Jake, maybe you're right, but at this very point right now, we don't know anything else about what he did. Like, you know, we're just making assumptions and we're thinking maybe this is the tip of the iceberg. But based on what we know at this point right now, I say let him go. And also, you got to keep in mind, like, the tiger outfit might have been a Halloween costume, right? The end of his, uh, the, the end of the campaign was in November, right? Uh, and uh, what do you call it? Halloween is October 31st, so that very well could have been a Halloween costume. So who knows? We, there's so many little details that we don't know yet. And no, I, no. And look, I want to be clear on this. I'm not asking him to resign based on my speculation or our, on our guesses. 
What I'm asking for is a little more clarity for us to mm -hmm. tell for him to tell us what's actually going on. Mm -hmm. There's always an iceberg when it comes to politics. If you're seeing something in public, it's just a tip. Jenk, if you want to buy a domain name, you want to know the best website to go to? Uh, I already know it. GoDaddy.com. First of all, they have 24-7 customer service. If you want to download GoDaddy's free iPhone, Android, or Blackberry app, boom, on your phone instantly. And if you go to theyoungturks.com slash GoDaddy, you get all of our promo codes, like TYT1 gets you 10% off of all your orders. TYT3 gets you a .com domain for only $7.99. You can't beat that.